All right, coming up next, a matchup for the UFC heavyweight division title. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, champ. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven foot Kareem at Jamar to stay undefeated. Right. If you can do that, you can do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. All right, well, he's one of the more accomplished strikers in this division. Sprawl and brawl, whatever you want to say, he's going to try to keep this fight standing tight. It does not matter how he accomplishes it. All he wants to do is be on his feet and at range, hitting you with the beautiful jab, staying away from the grappling exchanges. You don't accomplish all the things that this man has accomplished over the course of his career without understanding distance. He has great distance management, which then in turn allows him to land all these beautiful diverse kicks, spinning back kick, jumping high kick, so many things he possesses that he will try to use tonight in this fight. Yeah, if this turns into a kickboxing match tonight, most it's people over. believe, yeah, his opponent is in a it's world over, of trouble. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. So three years the gap in age between these two fighters, with big differences in height, and reach. All right, now for the particulars, here is Bruce Buffer. This is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Levine. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, presenting the challenger, Bruce the Dragon Lee. And now it is the champion fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of New York, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Lights Out. UFC belt on the line, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. Situations normally the guy that's more well rounded will be the one that will find success. I want to see how this plays out. Nice strike. Well, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Oh, body kick attempt here, it's no good. Lee gets caught by that straight punch. His defense has abandoned him tonight. I mean, look at the commitment to kick it in this fight. They're certainly getting after it early. Well, he has 
certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the field. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? All right, so we have got a full-on brawl to start this fight. Any concern that these guys might burn themselves out? Oh, they're going to exhaust themselves. So we may as well enjoy it right now because come the third round, regardless of the weight class, they're going to look like two hard heavyweights in the middle of the octagon. Just a slip there. Big kick. Big body kick. Nice knee to the body, just what he needed there. All right, so he lands a jab there. Pretty nicely done, DC. You can really control a fight just knowing how to fight behind your jab. And they separate. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. As he gets close, he's out of the kicking range. He'll, suddenly he'll change his stance. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Big Paul Rush lands. Now he gets back to range. Look at him yank the head and land that beautiful punch on the clinch. Oh, good opportunity to do damage here. He's got that tie clinch. Now, oh, and a quick entry. Great single entry. Rotates the high punch. taking for a ride. Well, he's in a compromising spot here, DC. You got to figure out a way to get back to your feet. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Close guard. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Now it's his mount. Under two minutes to go. Useful strike there. The ground and pound on point tonight. All right, half guard position here, DC. You have an extra pop in your step when you talk about fighters working out of this half guard. Oh, man. I like half guard as a top fighter. I understand half guard as a bottom fighter. Don't want to be there. Right. Very dangerous. But if you are there, you have to be winning the position of the underhook. It opens up so many opportunities for you to either escape or sweep. Oh, really using his reach advantage as he landed the jab there. Lee gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense here. Oh, man, hit to play. Oh, collar tie. He's back to the push position. This is where he has done a ton of good work here. Punch, punch, punch to the head from the clinch. Oh, misses with the jab. Quick entry to get Man, in on a single. Man, that was a great single. Oh, oh my God, he switched the lock to a high cross, rotated him and took him for a ride. That was a big takedown. Good punch, land. Lee's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. He just missed with the left there. Connects with the right hand. Pretty good punch, that one. Nice right punch by this young man. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop it. John, stop it. <laughs> Round two straight ahead. Well, what a round it was. Daniel Cormier, you were one of the greatest mixed martial arts athletes of all time. I'm not sure you can do a Superman punch like that, though. With my luck, I would try to push off and my foot would be slippery, wet <laughs> or something. I would fall right into a knee. No, I would not try that. I don't have that ability. I'm not that free inside the octagon. Take a deep breath and breathe. In through that nose, out through that mouth. All right, good. All right, DC, second round is getting underway. Round one, not the round of the year necessarily, but some good in there. And it's not always gonna be. You have two very talented fighters. Sometimes it's very even. That's what we saw in round number one. Ooh, found a home for that knee. Oh, 
lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. Real quick leg kick. Switching stances here. Oh, oh Superman oh. punch. Not always easy to execute. He did so there. Connects with a right. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Back and forth we go here. Single collar tie now. Great punch landed with so much power. Well, as my favorite Raptor Onyx would say, stick and move. Right? Yeah. Beautiful slip off the center line. Yeah, what a great job of moving his head. It doesn't take much to avoid a punch. The shot is blocked there by Lee. Right hand upstairs. Well, that body kick was there earlier, not there on that attempt. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. Oh, strong punch there by Lee. Slice and lands the punch. Oh, he lands the Superman punch. How about it? And he continues to work the body here. Well, he's got the kicking game going tonight. Lands another one there. A beautiful kick, and all I can think of, better him than wow. me. Wow. Actually got the kick now. Well, he's more than content to work off of his back, DC, where he has been a magician in his UFC career. Lee's lower jaw is extremely swollen now. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Lee gets back up here. Good on. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Oh, slips to avoid the right. He blocks the punch. Uppercut there. And he's on that punch right there. His opponent's compromised, DC. It's one thing to land a hard shot. It's another thing completely to land a perfect shot. And that was a perfect shot. Misses with that punch. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Well, he's got the longer reach and certainly showed it there in landing that straight punch. Just misses with that one. Big power shot there. Andy lands the knee to the body now. Loaded up on that right hand, too. I am starting to lose track of how many punches this guy has landed to the head of his opponent. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Good defense to block the strike. Right there, his opponent's wobble chain. He's hurt bad. This dude needs to grab. He needs to rest. He has to do something. He cannot take another shot like that. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may blow the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that he's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. Well, he continues to stay busy, and he continues to land with volume punches here. I mean, volume, but he's not wasting anything. He's so hard. Oh, that was a big takedown. Is this the one that's going to break you? 20 seconds now remain in the round. Lands the ground and pound strike. Final seconds here of round number two. All right, full guard here, DC. We'll see how soon he tries to pass. Well, he needs to be passing immediately. In the full guard is where you are in most danger as a top fighter because they have all of their submissions. Right. They have the guillotine. They have the arm bar. They have the kimuras. They have all their locks when they're in the full guard. So if you pass, you really do limit the danger that you're in from the top position.
All right, so it was all about the liver kicks and the body attack in that previous round. DC, the highlight. The liver kick is a nasty kick because it only takes one to land in the perfect spot, and it will shut your body down completely. You won't be able to stand. You won't be able to fight. All you want to do is exit the octagon. You better get his elbow down, or his opponent's going to continue to take advantage. Yeah. His opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it was coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. Lee gets caught with that punch. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Left hook to the head. Timing his shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very accurate. Ooh, big shot lands. Liver kick. Beautiful body kick land right under the elbow. Straight right hand, no good. Oh! Oh! Shot there, DC, and one more of those, he might be out. I mean, the fight is gonna be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot landed perfect. Just misses there with the left. Way to hide that leg kick. Nice move for one. Lands yet another strike to the body. Pinpoint placement right underneath the elbow. Just over three minutes to go. Some fighters shy away from checking a leg kick. Check that one. What a punch. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. Oh, and he tags him with the straight hand there. Beautifully done by Lee. All right, so I have the two double leg takedown there. Now we'll see what he can do with it to try to advance position on the ground. You knew that he was going to attack the double because he's such an explosive guy. He got it on the hips, finished the shot very quickly. Fantastic job. All right, working inside the closed guard now. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every single one of them count. He is not pity pad. He's not touching. Every punch that lands, he wants you to feel it. Oh, the ground and pound is there. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you gotta be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom. And if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes on your opponent. Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds, and it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter take the judges out of it. Good stick. I mean, he's cutting it down the side with these beautiful leg kicks. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Lee. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. He throws the right hand there. That knee attempt is blocked. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body. Kick.
strong defense there to block the shot. Nice instincts. Just missing on the high kick there. Can't take many of those. You better check. All right, that's three rounds in the books. We are headed to the championship round. All right, so there's the end of the round, and on one side, thrill on the other, agony after that knockdown. Yeah, he was able to really damage him with that big punch. You see the hands, the speed, how sharp he is, how technical he is. It allows him to land in spots where his opponent is winging punches. Great strike landed, great punch landed to put his opponent down. All right, next round is underway. You know these are two of the more conditioned fighters on the roster, so cardio is not going to be an issue here. And for some fighters, you know, you can have one of those adrenaline dumps or the cardio abandons you on fight night. Not the case for these two guys. Both look very fresh as we start this next round. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Lands with the right hand. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Nice punch lands over the top. Continues to mix it up, going to the head. Mix. Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Just unable to quite find that range. Tie. Oh, and he lands yet another knee. And sometimes it pays to be the taller fighter, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. Oh, big punch land. Oh, nice leg kick. Right on the button. Lee's kick to the body is blocked. There's another one. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Tried to set up the straight left, but he missed. Oh, Superman punch is good. You can tell he's been working on that. That was a stunning leg kick. Nice punch there by Lee. Able to check that kick as well. Just over three minutes to go now. is pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Oh, he got it! He got it! Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the block. Oh, these are some big punches here from the top, DC. He hasn't needed to enter his opponent's guard yet. And he may not have to. He may not have to, but he's doing a real good job of being aware. There's danger when you're standing on top of your opponent like that. You gotta watch up kick. Notice how he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, and that is it. Referee has seen enough, and maybe so have we. Your winner by TKO. That was a great performance. Way to land those strikes and go and chase down the finish when you get an opportunity. We'll take a look back at the highlights. You know we're going to find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight rip. Just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick to finish the fight. But don't ignore all the work he did with his hands. And give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step of the way. And in order to get a fight of the night like you got tonight, both guys have to be willing to participate. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 50 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon Lee. 
There is a new baddest man on the planet. There's the new UFC heavyweight champion. You don't get them all right, DC, but you thought this was going to be the result, and we got a new champ. I mean, he has so much power and such an ability to shut the lights off that you almost saw it coming.